Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and welcome to Learning Game Development. So this last video is going to be all about just me briefly explaining a couple of things about Unity and where you can go from here, what you can do now to further develop your skills. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well. Stay up to date with all the tutorials I upload to my channel on game development. There's loads of them and there's loads to learn. So over the past um, hour and a half roughly, um, we've learned a little bit about Unity, we've learned where to get it, what we can do, what we can play around with, and I know a lot of this may seem very basic to those people who know Unity, but you have to remember that all of what I do is aimed at getting new people into game development. Hopefully, I've got you really hooked at this point, especially if you've already looked at my channel and all the different things you can develop. So just quickly going to the Unity Hub and you can see a lot of things that I play around with, all the different projects I have. And you'll see a lot of these are various different um, things that I have on my channel. For example, the Resident Evil clone that I do. If you wanted to create a Resident Evil style game, I've got that. A Grand Theft Auto style, I've got that. First Person, Endless Runner, all different kinds of games. So I think it's wise at this point that you need to understand what kind of game you want to create. You've learned some of the very basics, and now it's time for you to build something. Something good, something decent, something pure. Uh, reference there. So, let's say you want to build a first-person shooter. You now, you now have the basic knowledge. You can now go to my first-person shooter tutorial series and really go into that a lot more knowledgeable than you would have if you'd have just tried it straight away. Like I say... I aim to get a lot of people into game development. I don't necessarily want people to go straight into advanced tutorials. The series that I create always start out as basic series, but by the end of them, what you've learned is at least an intermediate level. And people always ask me why I don't create advanced tutorials. And it's very, it's based on a person's opinion. So what people consider advanced may not be advanced to somebody else. And what's someone may consider basic, maybe advance to somebody else and not fully understand it. So there is no definition of what is an advanced tutorial and what isn't. Uh, in my opinion, you just need to create at your own pace, learn what you want to learn and build your own game. So like I say, we've learned various different things in this series and we've done various different things. Uh, make sure you always save scene. That's one thing to learn. Versions aren't too important, remember. They don't really matter too much. Things just move around from time to time, but they're always still there. Coding is never a version issue. It's always, well, I say it's always down to user error, but you may come across things every now and again, which um, don't fully work with whatever version, but the odds of ever coming across a version error when coding is, is slim to none. It, it's You're never really going to come across it. I don't think I've ever come across it, to be fair. And I've been using Unity for... Um, nearly a decade. In fact, I think it is a decade. So a lot of the time when it comes to development, you just need to take it slowly. So what I would recommend is everything we've learned over the past hour and a half, maybe go through certain sections again if you don't fully understand. But if you're ready to go straight into development for perhaps PS5, go get yourself a license, go watch my tutorial series and learn. I also offer a selection of my project files on my Ichio page, uh, which you'll be able to find if you go to my website or just search for Jimmy Vegas on Ichio. You'll be able to find them if you want a bit of a head start. Uh, I don't really recommend getting them projects, ultimately. I prefer people to try and build from scratch. Uh, but I offer them just in case anybody wants a bit of a base, a bit of help more than anything. Um, so it might be worth looking at them if you want to, but I would rather you try and build these things from scratch yourself, just so as you learn by doing. And you never know, you could become the next big developer that creates something like Stardew Valley. Who knows? Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to show you. This last video here was more of a kind of what do you do, where can you go? So if you click on my name below, go to my channel, go to playlists, find something you want to build. And I look forward to seeing what you've built. Hopefully you will let me see it and hopefully you'll let me play it because I do have gameplays on this channel of things that uh, my viewers have built and I love playing them. So hopefully I will see you in another one of my tutorial series. And until then, thank you very much for watching.